Let's take a look at some number patterns questions. Now it's okay to use a calculator for all of these questions should you need to. So let's look at number 1a. So 1, 4, 7, 10, we can see that we are going up in 3. So all we're doing is adding 3 to the previous number. 15, 13, 11, 9, we can see we're just going down in 2. So we're just subtracting 2 from the previous number. 55, 61, 67. So to go from 61 to 67, that's quite easy to calculate. That's plus 6. We're just adding 6 to the previous number. 180, 175, 170, we're going down in, in 5, so we're subtracting 5 from the previous number. Question number 2, we've just got to deal with some decimals here, 2.2 to 2.6. If you, if you ever struggle with any of these number patterns, just look for two numbers that are quite nice. For example, 3.0 to 3.4, that's a difference of 0 0.4, and we're going up in 0 0.4, so we're adding 0 0.4 to the previous number. 0 0.1 to 0 0.4, we're going up in 0 0.3s. 6.6, 5.7, 5.7 to 4.8, you might want to use a calculator for this one, but we're going down in increments of minus 0 0.9. And 9.9, 9.7, .9, 9.5, that's minus 0 0.2. Question 3a, 3, 6, 9, 12. Well, this is the three times table, so we're just going to be adding 3 to the next number, which is 15. 13, 18, 23, 28, we're adding 5, and 28 plus 5 is 33. 19, 15, 11, 7, we're subtracting 4. 7, take away 4 is 3. 120, 114, 108, 102, we're subtracting 6. 102 minus 6 is 96. 4a, what's the next term? So 11.2 to 11.0, we're subtracting 0 0.2. So if we subtract 0.2 from 10.6, 10.4. 3.3 to 4.0, we're adding 0 0.7. So if we add 0 0.7 to 5.4, then we're going to get 6.1. 4c, 1.2, 2.3, 3.4, 4.5, we're adding 1.1. And if we add 1.1 to 4.5, we're going to get 5.6. 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. We're going down by 0.2. So if we subtract 0 0.2 from 0 0.3, we're going to get 0 0.1. Question number five. So the pattern is 180, 45, 110, 75. So we are going down by 35. So he must be removing 35 balls every minute. And after five minutes, well, this is off one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. So all we need to do is subtract 35 from 75 and 75 minus 35 is 40. So Layla collects stamps at the end of January. She's got 23, then 27, then 31, then 35. So after all these words, we can see it's actually quite a simple number pattern. We're going up in four each time. So if this is April, then in May, she's going to have another four stamps. So 35 plus four is 39. In number seven, the weight loss follows this pattern. 91.2, 87.8, 84.4, 81 81.0. So we can see that each month he is losing 3.4 kilos. And at the end of the fifth month, all we're going to do is subtract 3.4 from the previous or the last known weight, which is 81.0. And that comes to a total of 77.6. Easy enough if you're using a calculator. So Alfie's height is uh, 1.32, then 1.35, then 1.38. So he's gaining three centimeters. So if we add another 0 0.03 onto 1.38, then we're going to get his new height of 1.41 meters. So Deontay's hourly wage was 9.53, then 9.84. That's uh, a difference of uh, 31p. And if we add 31p onto 9.84, we do indeed get uh, £10.15. So all I need to do is add 31p onto £10.15, and I get. Uh, £10.46 for 2021 and for 2022 
2022 add another 0.31 or an, another 31p onto this figure here and that's £10.77. Now let's take a look at question 10 and Brett's car. So it was worth 3,400, dropped to 3,150. So that is a drop of 250. And from 3,150 to 2,900, that's uh, another drop of the same amount, which is uh, 250. So in 2020, which is, uh, so we'll, I'll work at 18, 19 and 20 as well. So for 2018, it's going to be 2,900 minus the 250, which is 2,650. Subtract 250 from this, I get 2,400. And then in 2020, if I just subtract another 250 from the 2,400, the 2019 price, and that works out as 2,150 pounds.